गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एज द प्रिवियस डे उ स्टार्टेड ए न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम वन एंड टू द अदर दैट डे उइ कम्प्लीटेड रोडवेज एंड रेलवेज टूडे उ स्टार्ट फ्रम द वाटरवेज अबाउट थ्री फोर्थ अब द आर्थ इज कवर्ड उथ वाटर इन एनशियंट टाइम बोट्स आर डेवलप्ड फर नेगिभेशन एंड फिशिंग हाउ एवर उथ द डेवलपमेंट अफ सिविलइेशन लार्ज फेसल्स आर डेवलप्ड फर ट्रेड एंड वार so these boats are used by men from ancient period and the uh, first these are used for fishing and navigation but as the development of civilization it are used as trade and war also during the industrial revolution steam boats are developed later diesel powered ships are also invented so before the lip- industrial revolution those boat doesn't have any engines but during the industrial revolution a steam engine was invented so boat has also steam engines and later diesel powered ships are also invented now it is luxury linear tankers and freighters are being used to take goods and people from one place to another place people traveling in luxury linear and cruise ships get all the necessary services oil is transported in oil tankers to different parts of the world while freighters carry huge amount of food machines and timbers cargo ships are used for ferry heavy goods however what waterways are used on long scale by countries across the world this is because they are the most economical means to transport and also need a lower maintenance so a large amount of goods and heavy goods are generally carried in waterways because in a ship their the capacity of ships are very large they can carry a very good amount of anything like food oil petrol etc etc and the maintenance is very low so the waterway is the most cheapest way to carry goods around the world the south Ant- atlantic route and the north atlantic route are important waterways of the world the former con- connects europe and south america and the latter connects the europe and north america inland waterways are also important as they help a lot in transport canals water canals a canal is a waterway that is connected by human for transporting people sheep and goods transporting goods by ships is cheaper as compared to roadways and railways so canal is also a waterway that is constructed by human to transport people sheep and goods and the canal also connect to seas or to oceans the suez canal is in egypt links to seas the red sea and the mediterranean sea earlier ships traveling from europe to middle east had to go around africa however after the opening of suez canal this traveling time has been reduced by almost half so before suez canal if a ship came from europe to egypt it has to travel the whole africa but after constructing the suez canal canal the time reduced by half the panama canal constructed in atlantic and pacific ocean so another canal's name is panama canal it's connect constructed by also human and it's connected the atlantic and pacific ocean the canal is about 50 km long its construction began in 1881 by the french but it was later abandoned as the digging had to be done through long stretch of hot disease infected jungles 
so the panamas uh, is in the equatorial region it is the end of the edge of the north america and starting point of the south america at the south starting point of the south america as it is the equatorial region it is nearer to the amazon rainforest so when it started digging there they have to cross this jungle with infected diseases jungles and hot area so many people die by infection and in, uh, by insects the canal was completed in 1914 by united states of america almost 56317 people are involved in this constructions aviation what is aviation aviation means to building and flying the aircraft aircraft means uh, like now it is we can fly by the airways in the aeroplane this uh, this route is called as aviation i am wing commander ajay and i am going to take you through a interesting journey to the world of aviation the first form of man made flying object air kites which were invented by a chinese in 1400 bce so the first flying object which made by a man were 4000 before christ era thus the, the flying object was made by a chinese man it was followed by hydrogen followed by hydrogen balloons in 17th century and 18th century did you know that leonardo da vinci designed an ornithopter which which that is a wing flapping aircraft that closely looked like a anatomy of bird after him many inventions were made so who who was leonardo da vinci we known him we know him for his painting the mona lisa or the smile of mona lisa like that but he was also a great inventor he invented many things his another invention was ornithopter that is a wing flapping aircraft closely looked like a bird after him many invention were made however it was only 1903 that right brothers invented an aeroplane it was named as the flyer and the flight lasted for about 12 second covering a distance about 200 230 meters so the first aero airplane was made by right brothers on 193 1903, 1903 it was lasted Uh, about 12 second the time is very short and the, they covered the distance was also short as it was only 230 meters today i am amazed to see the supersonic plane carrying hundreds of passengers cargo perishable items and traveling across seas and continents these days all important cities of the world linked by air air is the fastest and the most expensive means of transport so air can carry passengers cargo perishable items and traveling across the sea and continent and it is also the fastest and most expensive means of transport and water is the most uh, you can say the slowest and the cheapest means of transport so today we will learn about waterways canals and aviation so there are mainly two large canals in the world which are suez canals and the panama canal suez canal connected the red sea and the meridian mediterranean sea and the panama canal connected the atlantic sea and pacific sea so i hope you understand what i taught you today read it very carefully
from the next day you will start the exercises thank you